This week, you will start working on assignment one, which gets to you to differentiate fact versus fiction, or sometimes referred to as fake news, on the internet. You can find more information about assignment one on OWL. Scale is an important concept in geography and climate change science. In climate change science, both spatial and temporal scales are important. You can think of spatial scales as the size of your view. If you zoom in, you might be looking at changes occurring over meters or kilometers. And if you zoom out, you could be looking at changes over thousands of kilometers or even over the entire globe. Temporal scale can refer to the length of time being viewed or the frequency of observations. So zooming in, we might consider observations made every minute or hour for hours to days. But zooming out, we could be looking at a measurements being taken every hundred years for millions of years. The scale that we view something affects how we interpret it. Consider the image to the right. If you know you're zoomed in, you might think that this image is showing the dendritic patterns in a set of lungs. But if you know you've zoomed out, which in fact this is an image taken from space and we're really zoomed out, then you might interpret it correctly as being the dendritic pattern that occurs as the Lena River enters the Arctic Ocean from Siberia. In the next uh, slide, you will get a feel for how these scales can interact. This plot illustrates how spatial and temporal scale will determine which effects occurring from climate change we will observe, depending on the scale we're using. See if you can explain this diagram. When you move to the next slide, you'll see some examples of regional effects and global effects.